Hey everyone, it's Shelby here. Welcome back to A Little Literary Love. I'm glad you are with me today because today's video is going to be the next round of anticipated releases. We're going to be talking about a bunch of romance books and novellas that are coming out in October um, that sound really cool that I'm pretty excited for. So you all should be on the lookout for all of these. There are a ton of books coming out in October like a ton like I'm pretty sure this is the longest list that I have made of anticipated books um to be fair one of them is like an entire series of novellas and each of like there's like six books I think um and it's like two books a week that are coming out so I have all of that I'll get to that one at the end of this this video oh my god there's just a ton and they all sound super good there's a lot of um dark type romances on here for like halloween spooky vibes there's also a bunch of holiday romances already coming out which i'm also here for although i probably will not read them until later on I probably won't get to those and read those until like after Halloween because October I'm feeling much more in like the spooky vibes and then maybe in like November or December then I'll get to some of these holiday romances but they are coming out in October so I have 30 books to get through um, and I will do my best to keep it in chronological order with the um, the date listed there for you as well but we all know i sometimes get off track in my numbering of things so we'll do our best but we get right into it first book that i have on here is make this season bright by ashley herring blake this comes out on october 1st um this is a sapphic holiday romance and this is a second chance romance between our two characters and they are in this i think it's like a small town and they keep getting smashed together on these different like holiday dating things like there's some scheming from other like side characters that sounds like happens in this one um i love this cover um and this just it sounds great i really want to get through a lot of uh books that ashley herring blake has written because i have read one of her books and i want to continue reading some of her books because she writes mostly sapphic books um so i'm super excited about that then we have brutal husband by lilith vincent this comes out on october 2nd um this is the third book of her the series of hers and i know i've read the other two books in this series i don't remember what the series is called i know it is like dark and i believe it's mafia as well um this is a marriage in crisis and it sounds like there's a bunch of like kinky things in here they're stalking they're somno like somnophilia um and i know there was something about i think there's like forced forced pregnancy maybe so the other two books and i think some of other her books do have some of that non-consensual dubious consensual things in it so like i said this is very dark i really like the first book of the series i didn't really like the second one so i'm not sure how i feel about this one i'm hoping maybe um but if that's something that you know you're not okay with any of that this might be one that you skip but it comes out on the second then on um, October 4th we have Eternally Devoted by Daisy Jane uh, this is a third book of her Twisted Sister series um, this I believe is Polly it's MMF the female is a serial killer this is small town um, I think one of the men in this trio is a cop and the other one, maybe like a construction worker, some sort of like blue collar kind of job. I don't know. Um, but that comes out on the 4th. And then we have on October 8th, we have The Nightmare Before Christmas by Sarah 
rash I think is how you say that this one sounds so cute and I also love this cover um so this is an Achillean romance so male male this is supposed to be a rom-com but it is supposed to be a nightmare before Christmas meets um oh what is that super popular book that then they had a Netflix movie on it um red white red white and royal blue so it is supposed to be nightmare for, before christmas meets red white and royal blue i'm so here for this i'm so excited for this one so this is a um a the prince of christmas and the prince of halloween they meet somewhere like at a bar or something and then they have this like makeout session together and i'm just like oh I'm so excited for this one. It sounds so good. Then we have Monarch by Sophie Lark, which this is, I don't know if this is like a second book of a series because then she also has Grimstone. And I know this takes place, I think, in like the same town. Um, I know this is a romantic thriller and this is a mail order bride gone wrong. So I think she's a mail order bride and comes to this town and the person that she marries is not great and she uh, makes friends with somebody else in this town so i don't know what happens but it sounds really good i am currently reading grimstone as we speak so we'll see if i like that one i probably will try to read this one at some point and then we have another Achillean romance comes out on October 8th. That's going to be Sword Cross by Freya Marsk. This one also sounds really good. This is an Enemies to Lovers. I be, I think maybe this is, I think this is fantasy. Um, this is supposed to be kind of like um, a queer version of From Blood and Ash isk um in the sense that one of them is the bodyguard for the other one and it says it's supposed to be really steamy and i don't know i just i really like this cover too this one also sounds really good super excited about it then we have brutal game by joe brenner i think this is supposed to be a start of a new series from her um this comes out on october 10th this is a dark college hockey romance um i know there is stalking there is touch her and die vibes i think there's like he falls first which i did read one other book by joe brenner that came out earlier like in may or june somewhere around there maybe it was april i don't know early in the year and it definitely had that he falls first over the top obsessed male character so i'm wondering if that's going to be the same for this one but it sounded really good um oh and then on october 11th we have the marriage hex by sarah blue um this is a witchy romance it is friends to enemies to lovers um which sounds great uh so and then the the male main character of this one is a shifter um it sounds like i think they, they were friends when they were younger and then something happened i don't know if they like moved away but then their families are also like mortal enemies and but they made a pact when they were younger that by the time they turned 30 if they weren't together with somebody else that they would get married and since she's a witch she accidentally like made it into like a binding like contract so now they're married and living together and they can't stand each other now and i just i think it sounds wonderful and i can't wait to read it then we have Morning Wings by Nua Julien. Um, this comes out on the 11th. This is a sapphic novella. I believe this is a dark romance, which probably if you can like the cover would kind of give it away. Not a ton of contemporary romances have a cover with skulls on them. Um, I know this has stalker, opposites attract. Um, they're supposed to be spicy, kinky. Um, this also has female rage in it, which I really love books that have female rage in them. Then we have also on the 11th, we have So Rare by Abby 
Millsaps. This is the third book of whatever series this is. This is Why Choose. Um, I know there is like an only one bed scenario. There's mental health rep, um, amnesia, I think at one point it says that. So not really sure what all is happening with this one or this series in general, but it is one that I've been wanting to pick up. So the third book comes out in October. And then on October 12th, we have Darn It All by Evie Mitchell, which I kind of like the title of that one. Um, this is supposed to be a friends to lovers story forced proximity because they are forced to work together on this reality fashion TV show. I don't know. It sounds really cute. Then on October 15th, we have Ready or Not. This is a Halloween novella um, that is like in between um, books in the series by Jen Plummer, which I think there is only one book so far that has come out. Um, so anyway, this is a novella. This is a dark romance. There's a stalker um, primal play. They play hide and seek. And the best part, the part that I really stuck out to me, um, is it is an ex-boyfriend's dad. And I love that trope. I love it so much. So that sounds really good. Then also on the 15th, we have How My, ne How My Neighbors Stole Christmas by Megan Quinn. I love this cover too. There's so many good covers coming out as well. It totally gives that whole Grinch vibe and I'm so here for it. So this is obviously a holiday romance, enemies to lovers. Um, there is fake dating in a year-round Christmas town. And I just think that sounds great. So Megan Quinn is one of those authors that I really honestly don't have the greatest luck with, with reading her stories, even though she keeps putting out books that I want to read. So I think I will probably try this one out and see if it ends up being a winner for Megan Quinn, but most of her books end up not being books for me. But I really hope this one works out because it just, it sounds so cute. Then also on the 15th, there's a lot of good ones coming out on the 15th, honestly. We have Bull Moon Rising by Ruby Dixon. I have been waiting for this book to come out all year. I want this book so badly. It is the most gorgeous cover. It, the rainbow, I just... I love it. This is a fantasy romance. This monster. Um, they make a deal, like it's like a marriage of convenience thing. Um, he ends up going into a rut, so that features a little bit more in like Omegaverse stories. Love it. I need this book in my hands right now. I'm so upset that I um, didn't get on like NetGalley soon enough, and I wasn't able to get an arc of this one but I need it. Then on the 16th, we have Guarded by the Nightmare by Cassie Alexander. Um, this is just a series of books by Cassie Alexander and a couple other authors um, that are like monster bodyguards. Um, this one, the creature he feeds from fear. Um, and then otherwise, I don't really know what else is happening in this one, just that he is supposed to be her bodyguard. Then on the 17th, we have Axes and O's by Kayla Gross. Um, this is supposed to be a poly. Oh, actually, honestly, let me just read you the first line of like the blurb. So this is an MMF snowed in lumber snack holiday romance. And just from reading that blurb, I immediately put it on my TBR. Like, that sounds wonderful. There's plus size rep. There's kink in this, which all of Kayla Gross's books have kink in it. I think a, all, if not most of them, also have plus size rep in them. So I think that sounds wonderful, and I can't wait to read it. Then on the 18th, we have Rat Race by Eden Emery and Ashley Pines. This is the second book of a series. This is a serial killer. Um, I think this might be sapphic. Um, it says it has the it features a masculine top and femme bottom. Um, there's touch her and die vibes. That's really all I know about this one. 
And then on the 22nd, we have The Demon's Queen by Katie Robert. This is part of their like monster romance series that they did. So this is the newest book of it. Um, there is Captor Captive, um, a demon barger. She is a sex worker. There's also size difference. So that's like a big thing with like monster romances. So super excited for that. Then on the 22nd, we have Snapshot by Kay Cove. This is a second book of a series. Um, I know this is like, I don't know a ton of this, a ton about what this one is about. Excuse me if I can talk today. Oh my goodness. Um, but I know there's Billionaire, Billionaire and Marriage of Convenience. And then on the 24th, there is Mania by Naomi Loud. This is a novella, I believe. It's dark paranormal. Um, this it takes place at a creepy hotel. This honestly sounds like, I don't know if I'll end up picking this one up because it sounds more horror, paranormal romance. And sometimes that gets to be a little bit too much for me. Um, I know there's like Masked Stranger. There's like a fever dream. Like she doesn't really know what's happening. I don't know. It, I, it, I honestly, this one might be a bit too much. We'll see. Then on the 25th, we have If This Was a Movie by Morgan Elizabeth. This is a second book of a series. This, I just love this cover and I really want to read this one. This is a single dad nanny romance. It is also a holiday romance. Um, there's Force Proximity, One Night Stand. I just, this just sounds wonderful and I really want this. I want to read it. I love this cover. It's pink. I love pink. It just, it's a me type of book and I really hope I love it. And then on the 28th, we have Accidentally Married by Daphne Elliott. Daphne Elliott, excuse me. Um, this is a marriage of convenience with a hockey player. There's plus size rep in here. Um, it has good girl, bad boy vibes. Um, it looks really cute. I think this is also part of a series, if I'm not mistaken. And then one last one before we get to the entire like monster romance series that comes out. Um, on the 30th, we have Guarded by the Phantom by Layla Faye. This is part of that other one I mentioned earlier, the Guarded by the Phantom. This is another book in that series. I think this is the last book of that series. So it's a monster bodyguard romance. Um, and all I know about this one is that it is good girl, bad boy. And it sounds really good. So then I'm just going to mention all of these. There is this, I think it's called the like faded, faded dating, faded monster dating, something, something along those lines. So all I know is that it, it's just like monster dating service. Basically, I don't really know what any of these books are about besides that, um, but there is seven books. So I'm just going to go through them really quickly um, since I don't know anything besides what I already said. So on the October 7th, we get Gotten by the Gator by Lizzie Strong. And then on October 10th, there is Song for His Siren by Mary Jane Darling. And then October 14th, Tempted by Tentacles by L. M. Drew. And then October 17th, Wanted by Wolves by L.E. Eldridge. And then October 21st, Gaga for the Gargoyle by Settle Meyer. And then October 24th, Ditching the Dragon by Becca Fogg. And then the last one is on October 28th. That is Mesmerized by the Moth Woman by Elaine J. Daniels. I do really like the covers of all of these. I think it's pretty cool that they made it like a cell phone that somebody's like holding. And it's kind of like, like how you date like online. I just, I thought that was pretty clever. So I did really like that. But there we go. That is going to be it for this video. That is all of the books that I picked out that I thought were interesting. There are Ton more books that are coming out in October that I did not list in this list. Um, 
especially a lot of other like contemporary books that I just don't really have as much interest in. These are just ones that stood out to me that I'm really excited for and I can't wait to read. Um, so if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below with some of the books that you are excited for in October. I love hearing from you all, but otherwise that is going to be it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.